Hey guys, Jillian here for another installment of Tip Tuesday. And this week I want to give you some cost saving tips when it comes to nutrition. I know it can be seem kind of daunting and expensive to get eating healthy. And I hear this from a lot of people, especially when they're just getting started with like the 21 day fixed meal plan. How am I possibly going to make healthy choices and stay within my grocery budget? So here are some of my top tips for maintaining a budget. Uh, number one, actually meal plan meal plan and shop to your grocery list that is honestly the number one way that i save myself not only save myself in the grocery store or in costco for making those purchases i didn't plan on which really racks up your grocery bill but it also um forces me to think in advance and so i don't tend to waste food and when you waste food that's just like throwing money down the drain so no wasting food meal plan and and shop to your grocery list so that's number one. Number two is make use of things that are on sale. That seems like an obvious one, but when you see something, especially uh, a canned good or pastas or things like that, that you're going to be able to either freeze or are gonna be pantry items that you know you'll make use of the staple items, buy a couple packages so that you have a stock uh, stockpile. Um, number three, uh, I do recommend shopping for those staple items at places like Costco or Walmart where you can buy vo larger volumes of things at a discounted price. Um, things like I staple good, well, my staple goods like canned goods tend to be from Costco. Um, whole grain pastas. Costco has gotten a lot better at having organic and whole grain options. So uh, definitely do those bigger box stores. And then another tip I have for you is hit that frozen food aisle, especially when it comes to your fruits and your vegetables. And here is the tip that most people don't realize is that, that frozen fruits and vegetables are oftentimes more nutrient dense than their fresh counterparts. Let me explain. Yes, I know that sounds like shocking, right? Um, but frozen fruits and vegetables are actually picked at the point of freshness. They're picked when they're ripe and then they are flash frozen so that they maintain their taste and texture and all of those things. When you get f uh, produce from the, the grocery store, as opposed to like, a, this is, doesn't account if you're getting it from a local farmer or from a farmer's market, of course. Um, but if you're getting it at the grocery store, uh, especially in the middle of winter when the farmer's markets aren't available, um, you're really looking at getting produce from all over the world, which is kind of cool, I suppose, but your means they've picked it before it's actually ripe. So it's not actually picked when it's meant to be picked. It's not, it's not at its optimal nutrient density. So get it when it's in its frozen form and you, you're going to be getting a little bit more bang for your buck. It's also quite a bit cheaper and it doesn't go bad because it can go in your freezer. Uh, I hope those tips were helpful, how to maintain a budget uh, and eat healthy. For more tips, head on over to my YouTube channel, head on over to my Facebook page, um, hash, uh, backslash super you fit. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, Jillian with a G at superu.ca.